this is an elderflower tree and from this tree I'm going to make elderflower cordial using these lovely fragrant flower buds. When you're cutting your buds, cut as much of the greenery off as you can and just leave those stalks like so. You need about 30 for the recipe. The tree has got plenty on it. It's the best time to do it on a warm day. The flowers are very fragrant and it just smells of summer. You also need four lemons. So if you've got a lemon tree, grab yourself four decent sized lemons to make your cordial. To one and a half litres of boiling water, add a kilo of sugar and just stir it until it is dissolved. And then you let it cool down to room temperature before adding your lemons and your flowers. Once the water's cooled down, you can put your finger in there. You add 55 grams of citric acid and all your lemon juice and rinds. Give it all a stir, make sure it's all together. And then add your flowers which have been washed so you get all the bugs out of it into that pot like so and push it all in and that's it that's the cordial and you leave that put a lid on it soak it through stir it around Squeeze some of the lemons in there, get in there, and now we've got to leave that sit for 48 hours. Okay, this is 48 hours later, it's a lot, lot, lot looser now, not as uh, thick, everything's starting to break down. So during the time where it's sitting, you get it and give it a bit of a squeeze too. And that helps bring out some of the flavour and gets the lemon juice and things out. Helps if you haven't got paper cuts on your fingers. And then you just pour it into a sieve oh, that has a chuck's wipe on it. Gather it all up, give it a good squeeze, there you have it, it's actually pretty good. There's your cordial. You then basically you pour it into your bottles. You can freeze a few bottles if you want to, keep it for a bit longer so it'll last about a couple of weeks in the fridge as it is. Or if you're going to make a lot of it, you can put it in the glass bottles and sterilize the bottles by heating them up to about 75 degrees and then um, storing them in a nice dark place and they'll be fine for a, a few months. Get in cupcakes, you can use it, I'll just put it on an ice cream, you can pour it over a cake, you can boil it down a bit more and make a syrup out of it. It's very fragrant, very flowery, and it's also very good with gin and soda and a bit of mint as a summertime drink. And there we have our elderflower cordial.